Our last story tonight involves jousting, archery, living in a field and getting pissed. It's basically the story of how Henry VIII invented centre parks. Tiff Stevenson tells this one after four glasses of Prosecco and a couple of fancy margaritas. We're going to talk about the field of the cloth of gold. This is a party between the French and the English that turned into a full-blown war. You're welcome. Let's get into it. So, 1520, a vintage year, I think we can all agree. King Henry VIII says, if I don't create an alliance, then there's going to be war. We're going to be friends with the French. So, decides he's going to get in touch with the King of France, which is King Francis. Henry says, listen, mate, what we should do is we should host a festival between the two of us to show that we're friends. And Francis says, Zut alors, you are right. So Henry, 500 of them on horseback, and then 3,500 foot soldiers across the channel to Calais, where the festival is going to be. So it's like Glastonbury, but medieval. And they've gone for it. I'm not going to lie, they've gone for it big time. And they're trying to impress each other. So Henry says, you know what, I just don't want a tent. I want the cloth to be made of gold. So he makes a tent made of gold. And then Francis says, I will not let you be better than me. So everyone had a cloth of gold. That's why it's called the field of the cloth of gold. So Henry's like, wind your neck in, you fucking French toilet. I'm going to make a church. I'm going to have fountains made of pure wine. <laughs> because I'm Henry and I'm a greedy prick. Then what happens is days and days of like banqueting and dining for like 15 days or something, back to back. But all they're doing is showing off how rich each one is. So Henry is like, oh yeah, you like to eat stuff. And Foss is like, yes, I like to eat food very much. I'm French. And Henry's like, yeah, I like to eat more food than you do, you dickhead. And then they slaughter 2,000 sheep. So he eats those. This banqueting goes on, they're showing off, they're showing off. Then they move along to the jousting and the archery. They're not even supposed to be competing with each other, but at some point it gets competitive. Then Henry, because he's British and we think we're the best, and let's be honest, we are, he decides he's going to push for one last tournament. And there's one thing that Henry knows that he's good at, and then Henry says, do you want to wrestle? And then Francis goes, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I am a lover, not a fighter. And Henry's like, listen, don't be a bell end. Just wrestle me. So Henry's totally convinced he's going to win the wrestle because he's massive. Then Francis has speed and agility and French cutting on his side. He comes in with a little known move that we shall call the cheating bastard tripping someone up. Henry falls flat on his big, fat, boiled ham face. And it's all over, isn't it? So he has to go back to England, embarrassed. And he decides, you know what? I don't, want, I don't want no alliance with the French. I never fucking like them anyway. And then we go to war. And that's what happened. And that's the end. Interesting, because I read today, apparently, English kids are the most depressed in the developed world. Did you know that? Yeah, it's hard for me to get my head around, because you've got it all. 